All right, mate, how you doing? And welcome to episode four of Benchwarmers, my football quiz show for YouTube. Now, big thanks to DreamTeamFC.com for making this all happen. Now, let's meet the players. Uh, one team, we have the ever-present tag team known as True Geordie and Thomas Gray. How you doing, boys? I'm very well, thank you. Yeah? Yeah. You good? T tiring of this one a little bit. But... Yeah. I sensed that. I sensed that last episode. I mean, you lost deep in injury time. Yeah. After Thomas Gray, you did a kind of controversial buzz. You got the question wrong. I know you weren't very happy about it, True Geordie. Have you got over it yet? Not really. Um, it's It was like a back pass to a keeper that was latched onto, and I'm just... I'm just sick of them, to be honest. His yeah, legs but, have gone. But his legs have gone. His head's gone. His legs have gone. Everything's gone. His haircut needs to go next, to be honest. It's getting around. Ridiculous. Who trusts us? Like okay, well, we'll see what happens with you boys today. Uh, let's find out who we have on the other side of me. Uh, first up, returning for his second appearance, he's got the voice of a young Pavarotti and the face of uh, a, a young Pavarotti. It's Lloyd Griffith. <laughs> How are you doing, mate? Thank you. Yeah. I mean, that's lovely. I mean, do Thank some you. opera. Um, opera. No, lovely. That Thank you. Lovely. Cheers. Are you looking forward to uh, returning? You, you won your yeah, first appearance. Yeah, I won. Appearance. So I'm um, unbeaten at the moment. Um, I thought I did a really. I thought I, thought I was really good at the football. I thought you. So were. I think this uh, this this one. I'm going to be really good at the football again and absolutely <laughs> smash the lads. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay, we'll see about that. Uh, next, Lloyd is another comedian and star of Friday Night Dinner, Plebs, and his new series, Flat TV, which you can check out on BBC iPlayer. I thoroughly recommend it. It's Tom Rosenthal. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you, Spencer. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Are you looking forward to this kind of first experience on Benchwarmers for Absolutely. you? Absolutely. I love the studio. I, uh, I particularly enjoy how you've set up Cristiano Ronaldo to be performing a sexual act on David De Gea. <laughs> Look how much he's enjoying yeah, that. I mean, they're good friends. That's why, <laughs> that's why he's coming to Madrid. That's why he's going to Madrid. Um, obviously, you, I mentioned it there, you've done a lot of decent TV shows, but I'm Thank guessing you. this is the pinnacle for you. This really is. I've hit the heights. Yeah. yeah, I've never performed on a show which has got a complete layer of turf exactly. on the tables. And I've got my own buzzer. King we College Rosenthal. I'm very excited. Thanks for having me. No problem. <laughs> was there some sort of email that? about the retro football shirt, though? Because there was no email. Because it's that he looks... Quite cool, and so do you. I know. He got a lot of things we didn't get, like a lot of good promotion there. I mean, no one ever tells anyone about what we do, but you know. Yeah. He's what? got talk and he's here. Get as a TV well. show, and then we'll he's then got we'll time. I'll do not give us one. I've asked, and they've said uh, jog on it, so I've asked. <laughs> okay, well, maybe one day. Maybe one day. Uh, before we start, guys, I have something quite controversial to do. You see, I picked up on a lot of negative vibes in this True Georgian Thomas Gray camp uh, last episode, obviously, after you suffered another defeat. And I thought this episode, I'd spice things up a little bit. So I'm going to ask Thomas Gray to swap places with Lloyd Griffith. I'm breaking Hell up yes. the team. Yes. Wow. Yes. Swap, best, please. Mate. Finally rid of them. Finally rid of them. Say your goodbyes. It's going to be a team mate. of Toms well over here. <coughs> and then we're going to have Lloyd and True Geordie together here. Yes. Hello, sir. Let's do this. Un Get familiar. Undefeated. undefeated. I've been uh, a winner here, hopefully. It's a totally different perspective. Well, technically, Tom Rosenthal is undefeated. <laughs> that, that is... Oh, that oh my, what? Uh, reserve strip. Just think, I you didn't know offer that to you. Well, so Why did you offer that to me? Like, this would not fit you, Lloyd. <laughs> <laughs> what size is it? Small to... It's a large boy. Sexy. It's a large boy. <laughs> large boy. I'm a large young Pavarotti. Pavarotti. Yeah, I'm a young Pavarotti. <laughs> there we go. That would have fit me. That would have definitely fit me. You don't mind wearing that as a Newcastle fan, though? Ah, not at all. Now then, chaps, in the news is the round where I take popular news story and I ask you guys to take it one step further. You'll each get a chance to offer your answers and I'll choose my favourite. And the player with the winning answer will get their team three points. OK, so today's question. Recently, Gary Neville was relieved of his services in Valencia and his once promising managerial career has now started with a failure. What I want to know is, can you think of any worse English exports who have failed to live up to the hype in other countries? I'll go to you first, Mr. Thomas Gray. Robbie Williams. Robbie Williams? Yeah. Okay. Just he's failed quite, quite miserably. He, tried, he had quite a bit of money, didn't he? And he just didn't really work. Why do you think he failed? Um, I guess the cheeky sort of northern lad thing doesn't really work in America, does it? <laughs> they don't really get it. There's no reference point. Them and Anton Deck as well, just Geordie's. Couldn't understand them. I think I'm, 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 I kind of broke through that barrier a little bit though, because Americans seem to really like me. He's massive in America, mate. Are I'm you actually big in America? He's massive here as well, to be fair. Yeah. yeah. He broke Pretty America, big. that was just when he got off the plane. I did, yeah. 
<laughs> <Cute. laughs> <Ka-ching. laughs> Fat jokes. Fat jokes. Um, this bench is to be fair. In America, I am actually normal sized. Just That's so true. <laughs> somebody just get that. I am actually like pretty normal. Is anything a little bit thin? Lloyd, have um, you got worst English export? I'm going to go with the, the 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 package of Ashley and Cheryl Cole. Okay. Um, because we all know that um, Ashley Cole was great over here at, um, when he was, uh, what was he, he used to um, shoot YTs, didn't he, in the car park. <laughs> yes, he did do that. Um, and Cheryl Cole was really good at getting uh, married uh, a number of times. Um, and basically, Cheryl Cole went over to America and then I think got sent back, was it four days later on, when she went to do oh, yeah, that? Oh, yeah, I She went to present the X, X Factor and then to put subtitles on the TV because I was like, <laughs> I've got no idea what she's saying. Like, yeah. Yeah. Is that right? I yeah. think you're all off me and me. And, um, it's that sort of sound like that. And Sorry. then Ashley Cole went over to Roma. And I don't know if you saw that famous photo. Yes. Um, uh, I'll just re up this here. So you're part of the team. We're part of the team. We're having a great one. time. And it basically <laughs> looks like he's got a disease that no one in the team wants. They're just going, <laughs> keep him away from us. Um, and he, he he bought himself out of his contract a year earlier, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, I yeah, think. Now he's, yeah. in, now he's in America. So now he's in America and he has to have subtitles when he plays football. Yeah, yeah, but also, things. Cheryl Cole's now going out with the One Direction kids, so she's probably going to be successful. So she might not have failed. Just to oh, say. That is legal, it's a competitive though. game. We're they playing a competitive legal. game. I think she, sh- she should just change her name to Cheryl Cole Tweedy Vassini. <laughs> it's got a nice ring to it. Yeah. Malik. Just Payne. <laughs> Mal- in- insert Payne. name here. Payne. Cheryl Payne. For Cheryl sounds Sh- like a wrestler. Cheryl Payne. <laughs> I'm going to feel the pain. The Cheryl Payne. Oh, no, don't do that, pet. Right, let's move over. Tom Rosenthal, worst English export. Yes. Well, initially, I was going to go for Luther Blissett. Oh, yes. Uh, who, in the early oh, 80s, yes. went to Milan. For a million pounds, yeah, and awesome. scored like four goals or five goals, which was a lot of money back then. And then he got sold back the next year for half a million pounds. And the story was that AC Milan had sent a scout to Watford, who'd gone, "This guy's pretty tasty. We should sign him." And they'd signed Luther Blissett when they meant to sign John Barnes. <laughs> um, and so this is not even his fault. He just frankly, got the job. Racist scout yeah. had gone. Unfortunate. But that's like when Sinus bought, black guy. Sinus and, uh, bought the wrong George Weir. No, the George Weir's cousin and played yeah. him as yeah. Southampton for 13 minutes. But apparently that's a myth. So is that the current as well? What? No, that was in Italy. It was Italy. It's Italy. Well, so you think they did mean to sign him? No, yeah, apparently they did, because the next year they signed Mark Haley, who was very much a sort of Luther Blissett style striker. So the evidence suggests they were actually going for Blissett and he was just. Right, so you said you were originally going to say Luther Blizzard. What are you saying instead? Yeah, all right, fine. I can't go Luther Blizzard because that is a myth, so I'm going to go for three-pronged plugs. <laughs> That's okay, a English one. plugs. That's a great one. <laughs> in this country, three-pronged clubs, plugs, plugs, <laughs> right, are amazing, right? Everything in this room, three-pronged plugs, you stick it in, works a charm. Take it abroad, the they, they don't, don't do anything. They don't export well. Just stick them in, nothing happens. What they should be higher doing? as well, shouldn't they? <laughs> they That's should be... my plug, actually. <laughs> have you ever tried it? Yeah, no. Go abroad America. You don't fit three into two. Absolutely useless. Worst oh, export in this country, three prong plugs. Useless. They should yeah. be higher as well. Why are they always so low? True that. things. You should just be able to go. On new builds, they have to be higher now, I do believe. Do they? So, how, yeah. do you know, how do you know that? Here's to flooding. building legislation. Flooding. Due to flooding, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Here's to building. <laughs> Round of applause for building legislation, everybody. Yeah. Okay. Keeping us alive. We just need to hear True Geordie. Bad export. What do you think? I, I'm going to have to, maybe this is a bit harsh. Oh dear. I'm going to have to say the British Bulldog. Uh, I don't know if you remember him. Um, you know, what a great wrestler he was, but he didn't quite hit the heights that Bret Hart did. <laughs> oh, yeah. And others, such as Stone Cold Steve Austin, they just never quite took to him. He could never quite, he was always intercontinental champion, could never quite be a world champion. So he failed in my book, and he died at the end, which is unfortunate. Um, so he's my worst. Export. I thought I you meant like sure. the image of the British Bulldog. I thought you just like meant the dog in general. Yeah. Right? I thought you were going to say the dog. But I thought you, I thought you meant the game, George's British flag. Bulldog, the game. No, no, just the, the, oh, that's wrestler, game, the wrestler. I'm just seriously disappointed in him and he can't even revive it because obviously he's not here. Right. OK, I've considered the evidence. I think my favourite answer there was Lloyd's uh, Cheryl Cole and Ashley Cole. So well done. You get three points. Yes. For a winner. Let's move on to the next round. <laughs> Okay, now it's time for simulation. This is where I ask you lot to physically act out certain scenarios. Now I've prepared these four cards. Each team will need to pick one. Uh, on each card is a different situation that you'll need to interpret for us in your own unique way. Okay, after you've finished, I'll choose a winning team that I think did the best job and they'll get three points. Uh, now I'll let the team that's currently losing go first. So you can choose any one of these four cards and this is going to be a scenario. Which one would you like to go with? 
Well, I'd rather not get up, so just this one. That one, That's okay. Let's <laughs> have a look at it. Do I read it? What does it say? Arsene Wenger's end of season performance review. Okay. Ah. <laughs> Arsene, <laughs> topical. Arsene Wenger's end of season performance review. You're an Arsenal fan as well, oh, Tom, so. Fun. Yes, sir. You should enjoy this one. Okay, so that's going to be your category. You can keep that. Is it really? Yeah. Your choice. You happy for me to just pick one? Fire at will. Uh, okay, I'll go with the first one because I'm very active. Okay. <laughs> and that is Gary Neville returning to Sky. Oh. Gary Neville returning to Sky, obviously <laughs> losing his job at Valencia. Yep. And he's going back to Sky, supposedly. So yeah. he's going to act that out for us. All right. Cool. We'll let you guys go first if you'd like to make your way to the uh, other room. Sure. Please. Thank you very much. Good luck to you. Thanks. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, simmer down, simmer down. I've got Arsene Wenger coming through. I'm Stanley Kroenke, as you can tell. He'll be answering your questions. Arsene, please take your seat. <coughs> this room stinks, man. <laughs> Hello. <coughs> okay, we're going to be taking questions from the floor. Uh, John. <coughs> Thank you very much. It's John from uh, the Evening Star. Um, Arsene, how would you compare the capitulation of Arsenal to the Nazi Party in 1942? Um, this is uh, an interesting question. Uh, I would say uh, Arsenal uh, as a club have had a very good season this year. Um, we had a strong period of strength uh, similar to the uh, Nazi party. Uh, they of course uh, revolutionized uh, the infrastructure of uh, Germany as a I'm going to cut you off there, Arsene. And I think that's not a uh, route that we really want to be going down. Um, <coughs> Uh, Kelly. Thank you for your question, though. Yeah. Thanks very much, Stanley. Um, I was just wondering, Arsene, what would you say is your greatest success that you've had so far outside of football? Uh, <laughs> for me, uh, there is nothing outside uh, football and, and the Arsenal Football Club. I work uh, very hard every day so to similar. maximize the performance of, of uh, the Arsenal Football Club. And this year, I think, has been no different. We have been excellent so in good. our uh, continuity, our, our consistency, <laughs> our mentality, our equality, our physicality, <laughs> our formality, <laughs> our unity, <laughs> our industry, <laughs> our magnanimosity, <laughs> our density, <laughs> uh, itchy feet, uh, fatty fatty. Okay, thank you very much. D don't really know what's happened to my accent, but it's uh, it's happened, so I'll continue. Uh, we're gonna ask for one more question from the floor. Uh, something light-hearted for the children. Deborah. <laughs> Hello, Deborah. The name's actually Brian, but I'll I'll ask the question anyway. Uh, <laughs> Arson. Would you categorise yourself as a Londoner, a Frenchman, a European, or a failure? <laughs> uh, for me, uh, I am uh, only one thing, and that is Arsene Wenger. Uh, I work very hard. Uh, the suggestion that I am a failure makes me very angry. <laughs> but I will engage uh, mentally as only one can. Uh, this season, I think, has been a great season for Arsenal Football Club. Uh, we finished uh, third place. Now, for me, uh, finishing fourth is a trophy. So, in a way, we have won uh, more than one trophy. Uh, <laughs> He's doing it. The fact is, this year um, we have been hampered financially by uh, the stadium that we bought 10 years ago and also a Bruce Riox contract 30 years ago, which is still a big uh, issue for the finances of the club. But still, we make uh, much money. And this year we will have a, a bus tour around uh, Highbury to celebrate this with uh, tax returns and we will be throwing money off the bus to, to all of our fans. Also, um, this season we have a very good prospects. I have just brought in a, a four year old from France who's called uh, Babu Kaba Babaku. I do not know if he can play, but mentally he is very strong and the squad we have is mentally very strong sometimes when we train we we don't even play the football we just sit and think very hard at each other and 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 it is then that we know football is not about playing football Leicester City uh, gives them credit yes the players are very good at playing football on the pitch but off the pitch they think very simply my team that I have and Stanley Kroenke has backed me all the way to 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 form is mentally the strongest team you play us in chess we will f you up you know, Sudoku, honestly, Sanchez, incredible. You, 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 you see Cochrane do a crossword in straight away, no seconds at all. Uh, my players are very clever and so to suggest we are a failure makes me, make me very angry, to, to be fair. But thank you for your question, Deborah O'Brien. Okay, thank you very much, guys. That's all we got time for. We're going to go back and, uh, you know, really digest some of that information. Soccer's cool. Okay. <laughs> well done. Very good. We like Tom that. Very good. Guys, that's a very hard performance to follow. You ready to go and do yours? Yeah. 
Go and do it, boys. Gary Neville coming back to Sky and see what they get up to. Fell over them. Well done. Very good stuff. Right, uh, Hello, Gus. Hello, Jamie. How are you? Welcome back to Sky Sports. <laughs> Thanks very much. Uh, I've missed you. Uh, wish I could say the same for you, Paul. What have you been up to? Oh, mate, I've just been on my holidays. Your holidays? Yeah, I just went away um, uh, on my holidays for a little bit. <clears throat> what about? Um, I can't remember. I think I went to I went to Spain for a bit. Yeah. Yeah, well, that, that's where you were working, weren't you? I no, I wasn't working, mate. I was just travelling. I had a gap year. Oh, I see. What a year! It was more like a few months, like. But um, uh, it didn't last long, did you? That's why you're back here between. No, the holiday didn't last long, but I had a really nice time. No, it wasn't a holiday, though, was it? Uh, no, it was a holiday. I went. Uh, uh, I was um, working like in a, in a farm in um, I, no, Spain. Val Valencia was. It was near place. Valencia, yeah. But I visited my brother because he he he. I seen you on the telly. What? I seen you on the telly. We we showed those games. On the, we got them on Sky. What games? Valencia games. I seen. Oh, you. No. oh yeah. No, I went to um, I went to see Phil at Valencia, and he said, "Do you want to sit on the in the dugout?" And I was like, "Yeah." And he gave me this suit, and I, uh, you know, I got into it, but I wasn't working there. I just went on holiday, and because uh, I worked on a farm picking olives, but then I, we, Phil let me come into the, no, the yeah, dugout. No, you were training, taking training, and nah, managing, I was, nah, I didn't take training. the team. I I've turned up you. to training. I, I, I was working at the olive farm for most of it. Ol what, what olive farm are you banging on about here? You were picking players, not olives, mate. And I wasn't. I was on. I was on my gap year. No, you weren't. You were. You, you, you're being sacked, mate. Didn't no, you? I wasn't. I didn't, sacked from, I didn't get sacked from the olive farm. I'm you got, tired. You got sacked from Valencia. That's I did not get sacked from Valencia. Tail between your legs, having to bung up long next to me, pretending like you know what you're talking about. You lost your credibility, Gary. I just watched a lot of football on uh, Champions League football on BT Sport. <laughs> I prefer that one. No, no, no. Lots of goals for me to enjoy. <laughs> I did okay. not work in Valencia. <laughs> All right, mate, I did Paul. not work in Valencia. Yes, you did, Paul. That's I did not work in Valencia. That's why you are sack, man. That's why you are sack. Yeah, you slipped up. That's why you are sack. Well done, boy. Very Thank good. You. Did you enjoy that? I did enjoy it. Yeah. Gary, were you Jamie? I just, I was ad libbing, you know, I was okay. just feeling the flow going with it. Ad libbing, who, what's his? Who's he? Adam, Adam Living. <laughs> He's in Maroon 5. Um, listen. I think that was a very, very competitive round of Simulate, guys. Hats off to both of you, uh, both teams. I've got to choose a winner, though. Um, and no, no one deserves to lose this one, let's be honest. But there will be a loser, and that loser will be your team. <laughs> it's harsh, it's harsh, but I think it keeps the game competitive. And I think the Wenger impression was, was sound. Your Neville impression was very good as well, Lloyd, but yeah. I enjoyed it. My impression it. of being yes! me in a wig was even better, though. Okay, so very good stuff, guys. Well done to you. You've got three points now, making it three all. We are going to act out the remaining uh, simulation rounds on a bonus video. You can check out. There's a link in the description, so watch it at the end. But for now, it's three all. Let's move on to the next round. Right, this is the round that separates the men from the boys. We're going to find out who really knows their stuff when it comes to general football knowledge. I'm going to ask five questions, and the first person to buzz in with the right answer will get their team a point. But remember, if you buzz in and give either an incorrect answer or hesitate for too long, the chance to answer will go to the opposing team. Shall we do this? Yeah, no. Okay. Ah, ah, ah. First fingers question. On buzz, say fingers, on buzz. fingers on buzzers, please. I'll just let you buzz. For yeah. Okay. Can I well, you buzz it, so I wouldn't let him buzz. Yeah. Can you answer if I buzz? Uh, no, uh, not really. No, it has to be the buzzer. Yeah. So I would have your hand. Can I kind of see a finger near the buzzer, please? Thank you. That's better. Okay. First question. Which country was the top qualifier for Euro 2016 and the only nation? Thomas Gray? England. England is correct. He's actually done it. Fair play. Trust him to start getting them right when he's The rest of the, the team, question anyway. was, which country was the top qualifier for Euro 2016 and the only nation to qualify with maximum points? Oh, yeah, it was England. We were the only country to do it. Amazing. I know, I know. I, know. I knew that, actually. Right, next question, guys. <clears throat> Name the player. Blackpool to Macclesfield Town, to Stockport County, to Rochdale, to Bristol Rovers, to Southampton, to Liverpool, to West Brom. Ricky Lambert. It, it's true. Ricky Lambert. It's true. It's <laughs> correct. Another point for these guys. All of a sudden he becomes good when he's not on my team. Ready for the next question? You guys can use yeah. this. It's currently 5-3. Who said this? Football is a game of mistakes. Whoever makes the fewest mistakes wins. Lloyd Griffith is going for it. Is it Fabio Capello? 
It's not Fabio Capello. Are you sure? I am sure. Him? I'm going to give them a chance to answer. I have got another quote. I was going to give as a backup because no one got that one. Same, okay. same person. Well, let's hope these don't get it. So let's give them a chance to answer. I can't have to say Johan Cruyff. Johan Cruyff is your answer. And it's the correct answer. <laughs> This is impressive. Ooh, don't this mind is impressive. It. Uh, there, there's another quote from Johan Cruyff I was going to give, which is, uh, why couldn't you beat a richer club? I've never seen a bag of money score a goal. Another good quote. That is a great quote. So, Just doing well. Doing very well. Funny, uh, three on the great. bounce. Mm. I thought he's got three answers correct in the previous three episodes. No. But now three answers. That's messing about. There's a different character on that yeah. song. So, the new character here, so. So th <laughs> this one's clever. This is the character that can see the answers. answers. Yeah. Interesting. Next question, guys. Which club... Did Leicester City buy Riyad Mahrez from? <laughs> Lloyd Griffith. I need an answer. Is it the Five French club, Lyon? It is not Lyon. <laughs> Again, we go to you guys. <laughs> it's the it's a Le Havre. Le Havre. Yes. H A V R E. Le Havre. Mm -hmm. Final answer. Because a lot of the players came from there. <laughs> They've done it again. <laughs> Where do we get to the winning oh, line? Sorry. Okay. No, it's just we went through it, the ticker tape stuff. Boys, you need this point. You need this point, okay? You ready? Yeah. Final question. Which two clubs have all of these players played for? Which two clubs have all of these players played for? Michael Carrick. Teddy Sheringham. Manchester United and Tottenham Hotspur. Good answer. Incorrect. Not at oh. oh. <laughs> no, I don't know what it is. I'm oh, going to move, well, move over. I'm going to move over and I'll finish. Oh, I'll finish. Oh, 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 no, Michael. No, but that was, right. no. West Ham and Tottenham. Correct. <laughs> I was going to say Michael Carrick, Teddy Sheringham, Robbie Keane, Bobby Zamora, and Jermaine Defoe. And the answer would have been West Ham and Tottenham. I put them in there at the start as a red herring to make you do exactly what you did. Right, so you actually got a clean sweep there. Five points for you guys, which makes it 8 3. Let's move on to the next round. Okay, this is the section of the show where I get a special guest involved. Today's special guest is me. Ah, ah, very special. Uh, the budget Ugh. permitting. Uh, let me explain. Recently, I recorded a special Rabona crossbar challenge just for you guys. Right? My question for you is, how many attempts did it take me to hit the crossbar whilst doing a Rabona shot? Did I do it first time? Third time? Fifteenth time? Whatever you want to guess is up to you. Whoever gets the closest gets three points. Okay? Uh, winning team guesses first. So how many attempts do you think it took me to hit the crossbar of a Rabona. How far away is the crossbar? Uh, it's in my garden. It's about, so that's a, about penalty spot, a penalty spot. <laughs> a penalty spot. Penalty <laughs> spot. Penalty spot distance, I'd say, roughly. And it's a smaller goal as well, though. A smaller frame. It's quite good. You just have a go. You want to roll? You have a guess. I'm going to go with four. You're going to say four? Mm, okay. I would have said nine, to be fair. You would have said nine, but yeah, I've accepted and, and taken we'll four now as an answer. He's good at football. He's good at football. So as you're a losing fight. team, you've got a bit of an advantage here. Yeah. You can go lower or higher. What I do you think we have both gone with we're going to go with five. five. Really? <laughs> yeah. How You've seen me play football. Yeah, I have, yeah. yeah. And you're going worse than them. Uh, <laughs> look, I, I just, wow. uh, no, I've seen you in, in pristine conditions at uh, football. I, don't, I haven't seen the lay of your garden. Yeah, it's, it's reasonable. It's reasonable. Should we just have a look? Yeah, that's a look at it. Whoever's closer gets three points. Let's see how many shots it took me with the Rabona crossbar challenge. Okay, Rabona crossbar. Let's see how many times it takes me. Here we go. Number one. Need I say more? Wowie woo -wah. Did you hit the crossbar? That was joking. Yes, I did. First time. First time, boys. <laughs> Sorry. You know what? Do you want to know a little in secret? Uh, I actually uh, thought it was bad I did it first time, so I did it again, and I did it first time again. So I left it. First time both times. Well done to Potatoes going to hate. Potatoes going to potato. Me. Okay, guys. Well, fair play to you. It's now 11-3. It's an absolute clean sweep. You guys, you really need a big final round. You can still win mathematically, but it's going to be difficult. 11-3. Let's move on. Okay, guys, this is crunch time. It's the business end of the show. It's Nagaram, which is an anagram of anagram because it's an anagram-based round, okay? You'll need your buzzers again uh, for this because it's the fastest team to buzz in and give the correct answer that gets three points for their team. But if you give an incorrect answer, your team is frozen out for that Nagaram and it goes over to the opponents who have 10 seconds to give me the correct answer. Are you guys ready? There's three Nagarams in total, which means there's nine points up for grabs, which means if you get all three, you still win. You would win 12-11. Jesus. You've got to get all three. I don't, okay? like, I don't like losing. So, <laughs> let's see the first word. Fingers on the buzzers. Get ready. Let's see this first word. And it is... List Noon Radio Arc. List Noon Radio Arc. 
Who is it? Who's going to buzz first? This noon radio arc. This is the longest the Nagaram's gone for, I think. Is anyone going to hazard a guess? What's it begin with? Tell me what it begins with. This noon radio arc. He's gone with it. Five. Stillian Petrov, four. sorry. Stillian Petrov is not correct. Okay, you guys. I can't take silences to get the correct answer. Uh, you need to get it right. Yeah. Um, we, because we are just looking at it now. <laughs> no, and. Five seconds. No, we, we, four. Yeah. No, we need. No, we don't even need that, do we? We don't even need five seconds because we have got the answer. Have you got an answer? Yeah. George, 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 we are going to go for. Um, Give me a name. We, the name that we are going to go for is um, three, two, Pe Pepe. One. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised no one got this. I'm really surprised no one got this. Shall I tell you who it is? Yeah. Yeah. Classic. Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, oh you're choking. Cristiano Good Nagarand. That's the first time anyone's well been beaten by Nagarand. Well scrambled. It took me a while, I scrambled it myself. <laughs> Let's go on to the next one. You can still make it competitive. Uh, the next Nagarand, please, is Rep Traxima. It's gone straight to Lloyd Griffith. Per Mercer Pack. It's got it straight away. If only you got it. The yeah, other but, the, but not, it should be a roll on because I think it should be a roll on because nobody no, got it. No, I've got. No, no, no. Rules were established before. Rules were established before. Shut up. We'll review it at the end. All I can say right now is it's currently 11-6. <laughs> okay. Let's see the final score. Nagarand has won. 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 If no one's getting it, I'll give a clue. Okay, we've got an answer. Thomas Gray. Philip Coutinho. Correct! <laughs> that is good. That is really good. Hesky and Ozil. Philippe Coutinho. Do your... Do your... Get his own guard still falling down. <laughs> this is a bit sad, really, isn't it? <laughs> is this what he does? Well done, you've won. <laughs> In the badge. He just kissed the Arsenal badge. It's a Sunderland. He's not a Newcastle fan. It doesn't really matter, does it? Well, congratulations to you guys. Very good performance. Of course, the winning team doesn't have to do the punishment. That's for the losing team. One of you has to uh, be nominated. Let me first tell you what you've got to do. We've got a chilli. Well, we've got a couple of chilies, but you need to eat one of these. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, Lloyd or True Geordie. Have a look at them, guys. Have a look at them. Oh, Who sorry. wants to do it? Um, I'm due one, aren't I? I'm yeah, uh, I don't think you've done one in a while. They, I mean, they seem fine, mate. Honestly, like, do you want to I mean, you can both do one no, if you want. No, no, right? no, 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 no. I think they should no, both no. be punished. You can test anyway. it first, and then I'll. No, because I'm vegetarian. Uh, uh, the old uh, vegetables yeah. on yeah. good one, mate. Nice on. mouthful of the <laughs> Copa America champions. <laughs> oh, football knowledge. That's why he won. Here we go. True, Jordy. <laughs> Get it in there. Thank you. Don't Thank be you. shy. Watch flat TV. Hashtag flat TV. Watch flat TV. Thank you. Here we go. Enjoying that, isn't it? How is it? How is it? Eat the whole thing. Eat the whole thing. Don't eat the green thing. Put then. it in your mouth. Oh, now you're getting the, the seeds, aren't you? Huh? Do you want some water? We haven't got any. Is it? Acting. Oh, acting. I can smell, smell it. it. I can smell it. Yeah. Eat the whole thing. I can smell it already. It's making my nostrils burn. Eat the whole thing. And then eat all... It gives the hiccups. <laughs> Come on, Jordan. If anyone can handle this, you can, mate. <laughs> he's gone, he's gone, he's done it all, to be fair. I think Spencer should but do it. But why is there an audience right now? Like, why is there oh, a whole Spencer plate if he only has to have one? Thumbs up if you're alright. Rub your eyes. How was it? Don't no, rub your eyes. Don't rub your eyes and it goes away. Rub your eyes or touch your body. How was it? Put your finger up your bum. Your he's got hiccups, he's got proper, we can confirm he's got proper hiccups. <laughs> well done, mate. Well done. Well done. Guys, that is the end of Bench Warmers. Thank you very much to True Geordie, Lloyd Griffith, Thomas Gray, Tom Rosenthal. Don't forget to check out Flat TV. There's a link to it in the description. And we're going to be doing two more of the uh, simulation rounds on the Dream Team channel as well. So check the link in the description to that. Drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. I'll see you next time. Until then, don't go changing. <laughs> hiccups on cue. Very good. Could you put a link, link, link to my thing as well? Oh, no, mate.